What up with you guys, you know who it is. It's your boy, John Mike, and today I'm gonna be showing you uh, how to set up inner device audio in MIDI inside Ableton. It's gonna be a really, really quick video because it's really, really simple. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is jump over here to audio MIDI setup, connect your iPad or your iPhone or your iOS device or whatever uh, to, um, you know to your computer and you'll see a little thing that shows up down here that says uh mac os is at ipad it's or whatever your ipad's name or your ios device's name make sure you hit enable once you hit enable it's going to be set up and it will run inside of this situation and you'll be able to receive audio from and send midi to it shows up inside of the midi studio once you can do that then you come over here to ableton jump up hit preferences go down here to where it says link and midi and you're going to make sure that you have output turned on on the ipad it may be turned off by default make sure you have that turned on and then also go here to audio and go to um input device and choose your ipad as well all right you keep your output device whatever you need for it to be right um you know and once you've done that let me change this for a second uh, so you guys can hear it because I actually got it on my headphones. Um, so we'll change that to that. So I got my iPad set to that. Then you go to a MIDI channel. Just open up a MIDI channel, create a MIDI channel, and then go to MIDI 2 right here and go to iPad and then press the N button, right? Activate N. Now you'll see that you're getting audio. Well, not audio, but you're getting MIDI on the iPad down here. You see the keys jumping. Um, and then once you've determined that, you just go straight over here to audio track, any audio track, and go audio to, well, audio, yeah, choose your, choose your, that's audio to, audio in, we're just going to do one, two, and then we're just going to simply hit in on this channel. And there you have it. Now you can just start recording inside of Ableton and record whatever you want, you know, in any channel, MIDI and audio coming from your iOS device, recording any of those apps that you have. Hope this video helped you. Hope it blessed you. All those good things like that. You know how we do. Hit the like button, the comment button, the share button, turn on notifications. I got some really great videos on this, uh, this channel. Check them out. Really good stuff. Uh, and we look to talk to you guys on the next video. I'm out. Holla at your boy.